Well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures. Well, <clears throat> you've got to take advantage when there's a bit of a lull in the in the weather from what we've recently had. So here I am, Friday evening in tonight. <clears throat> giving the winds, I mean, well, there's hardly anything there now, but they're giving it dropping right, right down over midnight. So fingers crossed, uh, might be able to find something what we're all looking for and uh, bring it on getting a few little sort of like rattles it's only been the first drop it's only been out sort of like about 10 minutes but uh i have had a couple of touches and let's just hope it ain't going to be an eel fest because that'll just about do my head in again so usual tactics i've got me two 12 pound class uh rods 1230s teamed our boats TDBs, I've got a 2050 coupled with my uh, two speed Dow Assaultist. So, and that one, when the tide picks up, obviously I can put a larger lead on there, no worries at all. I can, although I can use large leads on the 1230s, I prefer to use a 2050 with a real sort of like beastie lead. But yeah, so there we go squid, cuttlefish, and uh, oh, that one's going away, that one's bouncing nicely then. Uh, so yeah, squid, mackerel, cuttlefish, and blacks. So uh, let's see what uh, see what occurs. I shall keep you informed. Good to be out. As I said, I've done the carp fishing the week before, and uh, back out in the boat this week. So a bit of variation going on. Happy days. Don't think they're giving any rain tonight, which is absolutely a bonus considering what we've just had in the last week. So bring it on, tickety boo. Here, fish, 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 not eels. <laughs> I think I spoke too soon on the eels. I should have said nothing. It's definitely the first one. <laughs> Stop backing off. Out, Dobbo. It's always close to There we go. 
always close to hand, if nothing else. Yeah, it's good 10. Probably 12 pound, I reckon. Stop spinning. Slag. Took me seven, though. <laughs> Many more were they going from? Happy days. Lump biting just a minute ago while I was playing that. No, right, let's get that one back down, get another record. Let's go, 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 go. I have to say, I can't get through the dogfish. So I've had four dogfish. <laughs> I wasn't really going to show it, but getting lots of bites tonight. Now, let me get lots of bites. Some even might be pal. This is only another doggy, but this will be number four dog. No wheels yet, give it time. Shouldn't say stuff like that really. Slackening up soon. That's number four dog. Ah. Right, so seven oh and five oh panel. £70 trace, double squid. No, I normally give a little flick down side, save some of the trotting of it. So this particular spot, just over 50 feet of water. Quite a bit of weed that trip. A bit 
annoying, but as I had blue meals as well. There we go, another dog on itself. That's five doggies now. seeing a few doggies too early yet a few hours ahead of me Come on, bring it on. Or is it going to be a doggy night? Who knows? Well, I didn't realise I had... Oh, it was a doggy. Got a nice channel. Nice. Look at that. I thought there was a lot of rattles going on. That's a good sign. I'm happy with that. Yeah, nice channel there. Approaching a pound. 7 all right. There we go. He can go back, not interested in mine. Cool. Happy days. Now, I was getting quite a few little routes sort of thing, but I don't know how Happy days. I think the other one's going to start going in a minute, but all right, I'll get, back, get it back down. I think I might have another reel here very small it feels like it's kind of back off <laughs> oh, I'm pleased about that whiting <clears throat> that's quite a good sign so that's good so six dogs that eel of 15 and that nice whiting so a bit of a bonus Ew. Yeah, just a tiddler. Little tiny strap, little elver, bloody things. Yeah, little bugger. I thought I ate you early enough as well. Oh. There we go. Right. 
right in there, although I've got it spun around. It's just some, there we go. I just haven't got the weight, the fish ain't heavy enough to do it. But I got it out, happy days, I'm not wasting the Sakuma. Bring it on. <laughs> that was a good old eel. Christ, didn't that go? The old ratchet screamed down. It is what it is. Bigger. They are bigger than what I've had in the last month or so. That one's lip hooked. It should come out reasonably well, me thinks, but we'll see. That's better. What's that? It's five hills now. Bloody oh, hell. <laughs> Rain's got it freaking balls. Right, let's get it back down. Another reel. It's not exactly fast and furious size on the eels, so that's good. these right off now I'm holding very light leads now or lighter leads should I say there we go slightly better stamp than what they normally are apart from that small little one we swallowed all those hooks can't see me getting them out but you never know Oh well, get it back down there. Well, I'm hoping I haven't just landed into a bloody snake pit. They've certainly come alive now. Unfortunately. Yeah. That's number seven. <laughs> and the other rods go in there. Bloody those Schweins. Schweins. To me money oh well back down well it certainly isn't getting to be a ill fest tonight unfortunately uh this will be number 13 if i land it Yeah, they're being a 
pain. Absolute pain. Well, the tide's round now, so it's wind against the tide. A little bit of wind there, not enough to worry about. Still very comfortable. I've just gone through uh, the first five pound box of squid. Hold uh, another reel. This will be number 17. There we go. Whoa, hey. Weird how it just goes quiet for about half hour, 40 minutes. Whoa, there it is, right up on that surface. And uh, next bit you get another flurry of bloody eels. They are bigger than, a little bit bigger than normal. Some of the little straps out here. When they're that size, <coughs> excuse me, it is a lot better to see bar them. You've got the weight against the, when you're forcing it down, so it's a lot better. Right, let's get her back down. And you never know, I might find one. <coughs> it's certainly a new one, a new evening, I think. I've just had another. Another nice white in down there. Oh, here we go. Another real one here. Tide's running now, obviously it's, it's on the ebb. And uh, wind over tide. So if I get this one up, this is number 15 hill. Oh, there we go. Certainly handy having said it loads of times, but two speed reels does. Oh, come on, it's just curling up in the side. Certainly nice having the two speed reel. Hey, there we go. Whoa. That's I'm not worried if I lose it. Whoa. Um, it was a better reel.
think this might be a doggy to make a change. Doggy garroted. <laughs> okay, different. Well, welcome back. That's me done. Very enjoyable evening. Into the night. Can't complain at all. Happy days. Um, 19 eels. Nine dogfish and two whiting. Showing back the eels, but I suppose if they're there, they're there. Got a wave for them. There's always next time. So uh, let's hope uh, that we can be able to find one. Still had two this year, albeit from the shore. It is what it is. I think there was one or two more this evening from what I've seen on. Uh, Facebook and whatnot, so they are here. We've got to grab that opportunity and get out when the weather allows. Everything's all worked well. Boat's gone well. Everything's all working, so yeah, happy days. Once again, another conga fest. I well, hope you've enjoyed the video and. Uh, if you can hit the like and subscribe, that'll be fantastic. And once again, thank you for all your support. Until next time, Dobbo's Fishing Ventures is Tiggity Boo and out.